This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be mod podging this box, and we're going to turn it into a flower box. This is, um, I've got a lot of these boxes because we changed the lights out in our house um, just to save energy. And so uh, I'm used to doing the soap boxes. So if you haven't seen those soap box tutorials, I will post them below. But I think this will work. I'm going to be painting this first, and then I'm going to add these pretty napkins from the Dollar Tree. And so I thought these were really pretty. I picked these up maybe about two months ago, and I thought these were so pretty, and I just wasn't sure what to use them for. So I'm going to use them on this box. It looks like they're going to fit perfectly. So let's get started i really like this box because it's pretty thick cardboard on there but i'm going to cut off these flaps inside of it it has like this um i don't know it's like a cardboard i guess it was a holder for the um the light bulb but i'm going to leave that in there um, this is going to be, it's sturdy enough, so when I add my flowers, it'll be a little bit more weighted. Usually, I put rocks in there, so if you want to do that, you can put rocks or maybe marbles in there to weigh it down. Okay, so I'm going to start painting my box. And as usual, I'm going to be adding two coats to this, although... This is giving pretty good coverage on there, but I really want it covered up. I don't want to take any chances, so I'm just going to add two coats on there. And I will let it dry between coats. Now I'll go ahead and do the bottom. And if you hear some noise in the background, it is raining outside. And so I don't know what it is about rain and crafting. I love doing crafts in the rain. It's just, I don't know, just hearing the raindrops hit the pavement. It's very calming. Okay, and so I have my first coat on. And I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to come back put on another coat, spray it with my acrylic sealer. Well, actually, I'm not going to spray it with acrylic sealer because I'm going to be putting my Mod Podge on. So I'm not going to spray it. I'm just going to put the next coat on and then Mod Podge the napkins on. Okay, so our box is all dry and it's time to Mod Podge. So all I have to figure out now is how I want to cut this. And so this is a two-ply napkin. Okay. And so it's got these four spaces here. I can cut along anywhere along here. So let me see how I want this. I kind of like that bike. Maybe have that as the center piece there. Let's see. And then the top will fall like right there. Hmm. It's amazing. This actually measures exactly the way I need it to measure. I do want that bike right there. I don't know something about that little bike. So cute. So I want that to be my the part that I really want to show. Okay, so let me go ahead and start cutting so I can figure out what I'm gonna do here. And I just have to figure out whether I want to overlap the sides or not. I really love these soft colors. They're just very, very calm. And so I'm going to separate this um, napkin. 
since it's a two-ply, and that way your color will be more vibrant. And it will lay down a lot better without wrinkling. See, I like, I love that, I love the way that looks. So I just might put it on like this, do this side, and then fill it in right along here, just so it looks consistent. But I really want my bike to be showing up on there, so this is going to be really pretty. Nice way to kind of update a box and not have to not have to spend a whole lot of money. I've been a Mod Podging fiend lately. Um, I've been using a whole lot. This is almost empty, just to let you know how much I've been Mod Podging. So I had to go and get another bottle. Okay, let's see. Wet my fingers and try to pull this apart. Okay, trying to be very gentle with this. I'm really excited to see how this comes out. And this has a little dip here, but I'm not going to worry about that, that little thing right there. Okay, and I'm going to just go for it. And I'm just making sure that I have that bike as my focal point. Oh, and I need to get some saran wrap here. Almost forgot my saran wrap so I can smooth it out. Hopefully it works just as well as it does on the glass. Oh, and it looks like it's working extremely well on here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use my fingers, using my saran wrap. And that really presses out those wrinkles pretty good. And I'm just going to let this wrap kind of just right around here. I don't want it to stick to that other side. And just smooth it down here. Okay. And do that other side there. I kind of like to just go in even strokes. Okay. And I'm just bending it over. I'm not trying to use my fingers because I don't want it to stick to my fingers. Yep. Okay, and that's one side done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the other side. And just this is not dry yet, so I got to be really careful not to touch it too much with my fingers. And so I'm going to just put this piece on this side right here. Okay. And this is going to be my back part. The part with that little dip right there is going to be the back part. Or it can be the front, it really doesn't matter. And this, I'm just really surprised at how this fits exactly over this box. And I don't think I put enough Mod Podge on there, so I'm just going to go and just gently right in here. Smooth that over. Now this is going to be so pretty when I add my flowers to it. 
And then when I go over it with another layer of Mod Podge, it's going to be so pretty. And I also have to remember to pick up some of the Mod Podge that's, um, it's a waterproof Mod Podge. There's one that says, I think it says outdoor, and there's another one that says waterproof. Or I'm not sure if it's the same thing. But I had seen a couple of um, projects that were done with that. So I think it'll be a nice addition um, to my stash since I love to do it so much. Okay, and that is just gonna just tuck in there like that. And I'm just taking whatever edges are left and just kind of smoothing them, smoothing them in there. And so this is what I have. So I can cut little strips and probably just put it along the sides there. Or I can possibly take some type of bling and go up the sides. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll just cut a strip here. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to add a strip to fill up that space. I don't mind it overlapping. And I'm not really trying to be exact on this. Did you see where that is on the sides? Okay, and it's overlapped a little bit, but it's okay. That's going to be the side part. You see kind of overlapping there. I love this paper though. I'm just going to do the other side. I am really loving this. Especially with it being cloudy outside, it almost makes me, I feel so calm right now that I want to fall asleep, basically. This is so relaxing. And I'm in no rush. No rush whatsoever. Just taking my time and just having fun with all of you. And I love those rainy day crafts. Okay, I'm gonna put this piece on here. I think this needs to be just a little bit wider going across so I get everything. And remember, I'm not going for perfection here. I'm just going with what feels right and enjoying the creative process. And this feels right. Crafting in the rain, it feels good. So sometimes you, you just have to go with how you feel. Not how I feel, but how you feel. Because this is, it's all about you and how you choose to create. And see, that doesn't look too bad at all. And this napkin fits perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if I can add this in. This is gonna be the front part here. And this is not gonna fit perfectly. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom. It has a hole in the middle, so I'm just gonna put some on the side. And this doesn't fit in perfectly either, but it will work for getting my flowers in there and getting them secure. I'm just gonna push that right down the middle. And yes, there's space on the sides, but I can still get my flowers in there. Okay. All right, and that side looks, look how pretty that is. The box with the bulbs. Who would have known? 
So my husband, he's not going to be able to throw this out either. He's going to be wondering, what, what can I throw out? Nothing. Not a thing. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this with another coat of Mod Podge. You want to let at least have this dry first, that undercoat that I put on there. To me, it's just a little bit easier when I'm putting on that, that second um, coat over the top of the napkin. And yes, it has wrinkles. And you know what I'm going to say. It's okay. Okay, this one I want to be careful because I have that layer up the center. So I don't want it to kind of lift up. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here. And I know there's a, there's a matte finish Mod Podge, which I haven't used yet. Um, I don't have it in my stash, but um, let me know what you think if any of you have used that matte, matte finish Mod Podge. Because I may consider doing a couple of projects using that. I love to see the transformation when this is like really cloudy and then I let it dry and it starts to clear up. I just love watching that whole process. Call it strange, but I like watching it to see how it just clears up and looks shiny. And This is like watching paint dry, huh? I had to come to realize that everything is a form of art. Almost everything you look at in your environment and around you is, is art. It's just all how you look at it. And I, once I started, I think my crafting really started to take off once I realized that every container, because I just like taking things that don't look so pretty and making them into beautiful things. And so once I started to realize that every single container that came into the house, whether it was a box or um, it was something off of a can or a bottle top, it's, it's so hard for me now to throw some of those things away because I feel like I can use it. And I love the process of thinking up different ideas and, and writing them down and saying, you know what, I can use this for something. Or even if I can't figure out what to use it for, maybe later on it will come to me. Everything can be art. It's all how you look at it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, my box is all dry. And look how pretty. It's got that nice shine on it. And no one would know that this was a light bulb box. And so what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to take a few of these, these pearls, and I just can't get enough of, of these pearls. I've been using them a lot in my projects lately. I'm just going to use some of the really small ones. And this came in about a package of 11, I think it said, I think it was 1100, 1000 or 1100 of these. And I got these off Amazon, and I will link that below in case you're interested, but I love this. It's just one of my favorite things to use. And I'm gonna just put a, a few pearls, let's see. I'm actually gonna maybe add a few just in the front area here. And see how I want this to go. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty on that on this kind of beige color here. Just a subtle, subtle little details, or subtle details. Sometimes those subtle details make all the difference. Just 
the littlest thing makes a big statement. I don't need to do a whole lot. I always like to start like either at the corners or in the middle and then I can kind of measure it out just by eyeballing it. And I'm using that art glitter glue because it dries really fast. You get it. I'm really liking that. Just that little bit. And I'm just doing the front of the box. So let's see, maybe. Maybe right here. I think these things like these make really good co-worker gifts. Just to kind of keep it on their desk. I really, I wish I was this crafty when I, um, when I was working a nine to five. So I would have had my co-workers stacked up with stuff. I mean, I would do crafts because it was my job. Um, I would do it with the kids since I was a children's librarian, but uh, I always like making things for my co-workers as well. Yep, so look how pretty that is. That's it, no more. At least I don't think so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put start putting my flowers in. Let me show you what I have here. Of course, Dollar Tree. I've got some lilacs. So those are real pretty. I figured the white would play off of the pearl. Look at that white. Let me show you what else I have here. Move this out the way. Got some narcissus. And those are real pretty. I could put those in there too. Make a nice full box. See, so we'll see. Maybe I'll put a few of those in. And then I might throw a, a, just a few of these. I don't know where I got these from. I don't think these are Dollar Tree. I'm not even sure where I got these. Um, maybe one thing of pink because in the, in the um, basket on the bike here, it has just a little bit of pink. So I might take off just a little bit of this to kind of throw in that bouquet. I'm not sure yet. I'm over here reaching, so. This is called, I don't even want to try to pronounce it. Alstroameria, Alstroameria, something like that. But I like these too. And they have a little bit of the, kind of the brown what might tie in some of this on here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and start cutting this. Looks like I'm gonna to have to do a, a crafty cleanup today because I just got so much stuff everywhere right now. And I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I could either hot glue these in or just push them in the box. So I'm gonna start with this one. Place it right there. Yeah, I'm really loving this. This is one of those unexpected ideas. When, once I saw this, this box, I was just wondering what on earth am I going to do with it? And now I found a purpose for it. Let's see, I'm going to throw in a little bit of the pink right now. Just because. I want to kind of balance out my colors here. Pretty. I'm remembering that this is my front part. So this is pretty too. Okay, so you see that? Has that little bit. That's really pretty. I'm just going to 
put a few more in there. And I think I'll be done. This doesn't require a whole lot. But I like these little flower boxes to look real full. And these white flowers really bring out those pearls. And if I need to go back and change something up, I can. Take a look at this. I need something along the back. And some of these I'm just sticking in at an angle. This one is flopping over a little bit. I think that looks cute. So that's the back part. But I do want the back to still look full, even though it's in the back. Okay. And so far, this is what we have. And let's see. I'm going to pull this one out just to kind of take off some of that green because I want more of the pink to stand out. And I'm just clipping off these little leaves here. I could always use those as embellishments later on. So I've got a box of leaves. I don't know if any of you keep your leaves like that you're not using. But I'm going to cut this off. That way more of the pink is standing out. Okay, and so that's what I have so far. I might go back and change it again. Maybe, we'll see. But I love the way the pearls look on there. And this is really cute to just sit on your desk. Of course, I'll take pictures of this so that you can see what it looks like. And I'll post them at the end of this video. I do hope this inspired you. I hope you look at every container that comes into your into your uh, house as some type of artwork. You can always change it up with this Mod Podge, painting it, or whatever. Whatever you decide, blinging it out, whatever you need to do, you can change the look of just about anything and really make it your own. So thanks so much. Please subscribe and don't forget to like this video and comment below. I'll see you real soon. Bye.